All right, this is the uh, Nexstar Celestron Nexstar Evolution. It's a six inch SCT. I thought I'd start with that size and find out if I like the mountain weight handles. So far, I really do like it. I've not had it under the starry skies yet. Uh, right now, there's no power plugged in and I'm not using the controls in the handset. I'm just pushing it around by hand for terrestrial viewing. It actually works very well. So this is like the clutch. So there's this outer ring, which has got a really nice uh, size and feel to it. It's metal, it feels like aluminum and you can loosen or tighten the clutch there and then if you're locking it in position you're on a planet high power you could use the inner part here right same in the cent same in the center uh, the center one doesn't get super loose uh, this does get loose up but the actual there's still a fair bit of friction but at least it's smooth so it's not it doesn't get loose and wobbly that'd be useless but it does get smooth so i've put my dslr in the back and all that's happened is i've taken out the diagonal ah if i can hold the camera here for a second here so this is what's normally here, the diagonal, and the eyepiece goes in there. So I just took those out and put the camera straight in. It's got a one and a quarter inch nose piece you attach to the camera. You have a T-ring and a one and a quarter inch nose piece. I'll show you that in a second. Camera's on board and it's almost par focal. Now, I don't know if this screen can show you that screen. Oh, I guess it can. So there's the view in the back of the camera screen. What I like about this is the screen in the back of the camera is big enough. In fact, my phone screen's a little bigger than that, probably twice as big, uh, that if I was actually at a public event looking at the moon or Saturn anything in the solar system we could have people just actually looking at the view on the back of the camera here without having to go to the scope and look through the scope um, for some things that means you can have a bunch of people gathered around seeing the same thing rather than all having to wait their turn to look through it and if it's something like Saturn it's bright then that's pretty convenient because you're not in a dark uh, dark sky setting, you know, for galaxies. You wouldn't be able to do it with galaxies because it wouldn't appear in the back of the screen. But anyway, just a quick uh, look at, you know, one possible use of the scope, and I'm just using it for terrestrial right now. Uh, so far I can see the optics look really sharp in the scope, and it's quite a bright image for a six inch SCT. So um, what will be interesting is to try the alignment routines with the software, that'll be interesting. So you, could bo you have both a handset, and also I can use a sky portal on my phone, which is what I will use, because that way it's like having a planetarium on your phone. You pick the star field, you pick the objects you want to go to, and the scopes lose. You connect wirelessly. It's actually broadcasts a wireless signal. When it's plugged in, you have a flashing wireless light here, and you pick it up on your phone. And I've actually tried that and controlled the scope with it. Very, very easy to do it. So I'll see what the alignment is like. But there's just a, a quick overview. Bye for now.